north of Syria is well known for its remarkable archaeology. In the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC, the Near East was ruled by the Seleucida realm. The origin of the ancient city of Apamea dates back to the time of the founder of this realm, Seleucos I, a general who served under Alexander the Great. At first sight, the outskirts of Apamea look like a huge stone pit. Indeed, the inhabitants of the surrounding area used the ruins as material for their own buildings. The surrounding fields are covered with huge boulders. This was once the location of the largest city in the Orient. Now, herdsmen pasture their animals here. Almost nothing remains of the former city of Apamea. The history of this former city on the banks of the Orontes River dates back to much earlier times than the reign of the legendary Seleucid monarch. Recent discoveries that have been made on the slopes of the Acropolis indicate that the area contained a settlement in 4,000 years BC. The king of Hamat first established a city here in the 9th century BC. But the settlement only really began to flourish in around 300 BC, when in a relatively short time span, King Seleucus founded several cities within his new realm. The arguments for and against citing Apamea at this location were the fertile soil on the banks of the Orontes River was ideal for food production. Though on the other hand, its acropolis would be very exposed. The importance given to this city by the king is demonstrated by the fact that Seleucos named it after his wife, a Persian princess. The significance of the ancient city as a military base is further underlined by the fact that the Seleucida king kept 500 war elephants here. Furthermore, Apamea also possessed a stud with more than 30,000 horses. The city was a huge garrison. The Seleucos treasury was stored within the Acropolis. Unfortunately, none of the buildings from this epoch have survived. Seleucos expanded his realm more and more. But when he attempted to include Macedonia, he paid for this decision with his life. The king of the Macedonians, Ptolemaeus Coronas, took over the Seleucida realm in 281 BC by having King Seleucos killed. These ruins date back to the Roman epoch that began in 64 BC, when the Romans conquered Apamea. The city's prosperity also continued under Roman rule. At the time of the birth of Jesus, around half a million people lived in Apamea and his close surroundings. In 115 AD, a devastating earthquake hit the city. It was completely destroyed, 
but Roman Emperor Trajan ordered that it should be rebuilt. After Antiochia, capital of the province of Syria, the city on the Orontes River was the second most important Roman city in the Near East. The former wealth and power of Apamea is reflected by its impressive 1.8 kilometer long colonnade. The street points precisely in a north-south direction and measures 37.5 meters wide. It was, and still is, the backbone of this ancient city. Around 400 columns have been rebuilt. According to various inscriptions, the colonnade originated at the beginning of the first century AD. The northern section of the colonnade was built following the aforementioned earthquake and the remainder much later. This former splendid avenue situated amid the untouched landscape contains all the unique atmosphere and charm of ancient Upper Mare. The dramatic history of this city continued until the 3rd century AD when a Roman legation ruled the city. But this soon came to a violent end. In 282 AD, Legate Saturnius was assassinated. years that followed, the city's wealth increased. In the 4th century AD, Apamea became a diocese and a number of churches were built here. But in the 6th century, many catastrophes beset the area. Plagues and earthquakes caused havoc among the population. But the most serious calamity was the destruction of the city by the Sassanid monarch Chosroth I in 573 AD. The economic isolation of North Syria resulted in even more hardship, yet the diocese survived until the end of the 10th century. Following another catastrophic earthquake in the 12th century and various battles for power, the city was finally abandoned. Only the impressive colonnade now demonstrates the former influence and greatness of this legendary ancient city. So some of the glory of Apamea lives on.